Meteorologist Danielle Noyce here for the One Degree Outside Weather Network with your Noyce's notes on this Thursday. We're talking about a backdoor cold front coming in today, and that will mean sharply cooler temperatures at the coastline as that wind shifts around and the front comes in, and showers and thunderstorms developing during the afternoon and evening especially. Now the smoky sky continues out there as well, and Ernesto rip currents will start at our coastline as early as Saturday, lingering into Sunday and start of next week as well. We'll talk more about Ernesto in our insights video along with the weekend details as well. In the meantime, the dew points on the rise too. It's not oppressive, but you notice the difference. Many of us seeing dew points in the mid to even some upper 60s out there today. So it's in turning a little more humid and there'll be some thunderstorms around. Now, temperature wise, we're going to be talking about highs that top out in the 80s inland 70s at the coast. Notice the thunderstorms that develop from lunchtime onward. Don't focus on the exact placement here, but you see there's some reds and oranges in here. I do think we'll get some downpours, some lightning, some brief gusty wind possible and any thunderstorms storms that do develop. A couple of storms may be a little bit on the feisty side, particularly from like 2 to 7 p.m. Notice they're most widespread in central and eastern New England, a little less in the way of coverage in western New England, though there'll still be some hit or miss action around that does linger into the evening before dwindling after the sun sets. Still some pockets of rain around in southern and eastern New England. So highs today do manage the 80s, 75 to 80 on the Cape. Notice Gloucester to Lynn and even the city of Boston, this may be a little bit generous. We're talking about temperatures near 80, but maybe just shy of that, and then rapidly cooling through the 60s over the course of the afternoons as that wind shift takes place. You'll notice it for first in northeastern Massachusetts and the New Hampshire seacoast. So our highs may actually be met earlier in the day before that cooling begins. Many lower 80s here across central and northern New England as well. Temperatures running either side of 80 degrees, 70s for us, mostly across the Pine Tree State as well, with a number of thunderstorms cropping up. So it's certainly a day to be weather aware. Overnight tonight, any action dwindles, there'll be some patchy fog. Overnight lows, either side of 60 in western New England, far northern New England, a few mid to upper 50s as well, and then 60 to 65 in most of central and southern New England. We get a little break in the action tomorrow. Again, more on the weekend in detail coming up in our Insights video, and of course, all of our weather information is on our app. Videos at the top, interactive radar. It's free on the App Store, Google Play, and all of our weather information is always on our website, onedegreeoutside.com.